From the moment I stepped foot on campus in 1977, this place embraced me and I embraced it. Jolene Caruso Fitzgerald, Barnard College. I am the least artistic person on the planet, but there was a program in the arts that had art history, English writing, film, theater, music. I loved it. Every Friday I worked on Wall Street during my four years and my summers. So I was busy. Wall Street prevailed. And in March of my freshman year, I met my husband. And we went to a basketball game and my husband handed me a program. And I looked at my girlfriend and I said, who is that? And she said, oh, it's one of the football players. And I said, introduce me to him. So it's been 41 years and it's just a beautiful story. From the moment I left this campus, I knew I would never leave. So what I did was dug in. Being a trustee and being involved on transgender admissions, divest from fossil fuels, all the issues today makes me smarter as a US citizen, <laughs> makes me better as a business person. The Diana, the funds that we raised for this building, I believe truly transformed the campus. And the next phase of the capital campaign was the Milstein Center behind me. In 2018, I was the recipient of the Frederick A.P. Barnard Award. One of the special things they did was create a song after Dolly Parton's Jolene. Your drives made you a great trustee. You helped get us all that we need. And we're so proud to stand with you, Jolene. I was laughing. It was fantastic. And it was very, very special. You'd think I would know how to do this. I've had this robe for 18 years. This is my 19th commencement. My two children decided to attend Columbia College, which is fantastic. My affiliation here really is the university as a whole. Barnard is Columbia University. Now I feel the college and the university are truly one, and the prospects for Barnard have never been greater.